Hey Algebra 2, um, here's a commonly requested one here. Um, now the key idea here is all you're doing is you are, we're trying to make it easier on you. We're telling you if you did all of this, what would be the seventh term? Now if you're stuck on a test, it's worthwhile to just do the entire thing and then figure out which one is the seventh one. But what I'm teaching you is just a little bit of a shortcut for how to do it. So the pattern, because we're just finding the seventh term, the, the patterns don't change from the other binomial theorem ones. We have to find the tenth row of Pascal's triangle. So that's going to be 1, 10, 45, 120, 210, 252, 210, uh, 120, 45, and 10, and then 1. Okay. But the idea here is, I'm not even going to make the full boxes here. The idea here is that the seventh term is going to come from, okay, this is going to be the first term, whatever comes here, then this is going to be the second, then the third, then the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh. So the seventh just comes from whatever's in this row. So that's really what we need to focus on. The other ones we can kind of put in there, but we don't even need to. All right, so the second pattern is we're going to start with the first term, which is just d in this case. d to the power of 10, then d to the power of 9, then d to the power of 8, then d to the power of 7, d to the power of 6, d to the power of 5, d to the power of 4, d to the power of 3. Oh, but actually, we didn't even need to go that far, because this is the only one we really need to find. So keep that in mind, because it's the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7th term. All right, then the third pattern is 2e to the power of 0, which is 1, then 2e to the power of 1, 2e to the power of 2, 2e to the power of 3, 2e, oh, negative 2e, I should put my negatives here, negative 2e to the power of 4, negative 2e to the power of 5, and then this one's going to be negative 2e to the power of 6. So the nice thing about this, then, is that I, I can just get rid of all this stuff and all of this stuff. Don't even need it there. So I'm just going to figure out, okay, 210 times d to the power of 4 times, all right, now negative 2e to the power of 6, that's going to be, I'm going to do it right over here, negative 2e to the power of 6 is going to be negative 2 to the power of 6, which is 64, and then e to the power of 6, so times 64e to the power of 6. Multiply coefficients, 210 times, you can imagine there's a 1 there, times 64. That's going to be 13, 4, 40, and then d to the 4, e to the 6. d to the 4, e to the 6. And that's just your answer. So again, the idea is we're just finding the seventh of all of these. Now remember that this is, if you're going to try to do the shortcut with the C's, this is going to be 10C6 to find the seventh term, because it starts with 0, C0, and then 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4, and then 5, and then the seventh term is number 6. And then you also notice a little pattern here. This number here is the same as this number here, and then these two always add up to 10, if it's to the power of 10 here. Just little patterns. If you don't understand the patterns, do not use them.